Once again, it is time to vote for governor here in the land of enchiladas. New Mexico, of course. We have three candidates for governor. One is a scientist, a lawyer, a health professional, and highly educated. Um, went to law school, passed that, became the head of health services in New Mexico, did a wonderful job at that, and was a representative in New Mexico, sent to Washington, D.C. to represent me. The other is a weather girl. History in predicting weather. That is the education that person has. And the other, of course, is libertarian, and who gives a fuck about them? I mean, they're, they're nuts. So, guess the political party for the first two. We have a scientist who follows the laws of physics and agrees and gets advice from scientists before making decisions. And the other is a weather girl. Guess the political party. This is what political parties do. We have to get political parties out of politics. Before that, we can't have a democracy. We are forced to vote for whoever is put up there for us to choose from. And political party means stupid morons out there will see either the R or the D and select that and not the person. It is possible that the weather girl will be elected governor of New Mexico. And not the scientist, not the politician, not the representative, not the head of the Board of Health and Education here. The weather girl, because political party exists. Fucking idiot. New Mexico is still the really good state to live in if you have money. If you want a job or education, don't come here. I mean, I know everything already, so I'm going to go eat enchiladas.